Hi everyone, I'm Jose Sada Menta, software engineer at MuleSoft, and today I will show you how to integrate your Mule applications with Amazon Simple Storage Service, better known as F3, using Mule Studio. In order to run this demo, you will need an Amazon Web Service account and Mule Studio CE, in this case we will use Mule Studio 332, and it's possible to download it from MuleSoft.org. So let's start. Before starting to write our application, we need to install the Cloud Connector and Studio, so we go to the main menu, help, then install new software. We have to select the Cloud Connectors update site. Then look for the Amazon S3 connector. We click on next and we follow the installation instruction. Once the connector has been installed, we have to restart our Mune Studio. Now we have to create a new Mule project, so right click on the project palette, new project. We call it a 3 demo. And it's done. Now Mule Studio has created all our project structure. Let's go into the application. Basically, we will add support for creating an object in a 3 and retrieving that object via a web browser. So for the first flow, we have to add an HTTP inbound endpoint. Double click on the on the endpoint and we configure the path create object. Then we go to the palette, we select the Amazon S3, drag and drop the connector on the canvas, double click on the connector, and the first step here is to create the configuration, so I go to config reference, click on the plus icon, and the only parameters we have to configure here are access key and secret key, so we have to go back to our Amazon account security credentials and then copy the access key and the secret key that's all for the configuration now we select the operation create bucket configure the bucket name, mill demo in this case, and an ACL.public read. So in this example we will download an image from Musoft.org. So we have to create an HTTP outbound endpoint. And we will look for the image URL Musoft.org. So I open the browser, new tab, Musoft.org. I will download this image, the Musoft logo. So I copy the URL, configure the port, the host, in this case Musoft.org, and the HTTP method, in this case get. And now we will call the Amazon S3 operation, create object, with a result from the, the HTTP outbound, with the image itself. So we use the same configuration, and we call the operation create object. The bucket name, in this case mule demo, and the key musoft.png. Just configure the this endpoint as one way, see we don't need the response to the browser. The next flow is for retrieving the object. So we have to create an HTTP inbound. Double click on the on the endpoint. 
the path get object look for the Amazon F3 connector, drag and drop the connector on the canvas use the same configuration and call the operation get object content the bucket name mule demo and the key mulesoft.png so that's all I just configure the meme type image.png that's only for the response to the browser now we'll run the application right click on the mflow run as mule application now we we'll go to the browser and call the first endpoint create object I will check the result of the endpoint on my Amazon account I go to Amazon F3 and as you can see we have the bucket created and inside the bucket the file that we upload to Amazon and now we will call the another op the another endpoint get object and we retrieve the object from Amazon F3 that same image and we show in the browser so that's all for this demo as you could see consuming Amazon F3 service is pretty straightforward with Mule for further information please don't hesitate to contact us and visit our website at mulesoft.org the Amazon F3 connector documentation at github and our blogs at blogs.musoft.org. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Till the next time. Bye.